Now let's see some of the properties of implication and by implication. This is also called as equivalences, which means if you take one expression and if you try to find out the truth values of that expression for each assignment of the truth value for the variables, if the other one is also having the same type of truth truth column, you know, truth table, then we can say that they are equivalent. I'll just show you an example. See this. Now let us say P and Q are two variables. In exam, they will ask you such questions. They will say whether these two are equivalent or not. I mean, they will say which of the following four statements is right. And first option, they will give you like this. Second option, third option, fourth option, something like this. And they will change, you know, something in the statements and you are, you are supposed to eliminate it. These are the some of the common questions. Simplest and the uh, sure method to answer it is just take the table right and how many variables you should write here that depends on how many variables the formula has now if you see this particular formula let me not call it a formula equivalence okay so this equivalence says that this expression is equivalent to this expression what do they mean is if you go for assignments of p and q both of them are supposed to give uh, the same truth value right so which means if i take p q if i write p implies q and if I write negation P or Q, both of them are supposed to give me the same value. That is the meaning of it, which means, let us say this is true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false, right? So we know this already, true, false, true, true. And what about this? If you try to find it out, this will also be true, false, true, true. You get the same thing, right? That is why they, these two are equivalent. So even though I am giving the formula, sorry, equivalences, let me call them. Uh, even though I am giving you this, you know, you no know need to buy hard them. The reason I am giving you them is, you will not feel strange when you see them for the first time in exam. Just go through them, read them and most of them you have to solve only like this better you solve it like this okay so this one says that p implies q is equivalent to negation q implies negation p and this one you can see you know you can see that it follows from this right or if you don't remember it just try the truth table of these two and you find it since only two variables are involved the table will contain four uh, four rows and what about this one same way four rows you can solve them four rows you can solve them four rows you can solve them now if you observe this here p q and r are given which means you are supposed to check this for three variables so they are going to give us eight rows in the table now the problem is you might have to save some time in such questions if you want to if you have time and if you are definitely if you don't want to lose any mark there best thing is go with the table method and be confident in your answer Otherwise, if you want to do it fast, I'll tell you one method. You just try to randomly uh, assign some values here, randomly, and see what this one will give you, and then see what this one will give you. You do some random checks. And if you, if you find out that this one is giving true and this one is giving false, then you can easily write the answer. It might work faster sometimes, but the only way to answer it you know surely is this method okay and here also you have pqr here also you have pqr pqr so even in the exams i have never seen any question involving more than three variables therefore if there are three variables you can just write three table i mean eight rows and then solve it and similarly these are the equivalences for by implication a by implication is nothing but conjunction of two implications p by implication q is nothing but p impl implies q and q implies p got it so anyway this one also you can check using the same method don't buy heart it just do this method i have given you so that you will know that they they are there you will not feel strange when you see them for the first time in exam okay Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india I'll give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs 
universities better than IITs. They have very good acceptance rate, like 30 percent, 40 percent. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177, and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building. And then LOR guidance. And GRE and English test assistance. And education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews, and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join game of visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia. Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494554454. Okay, thank you.